A small boy asks his dad, "Daddy, what is politics?" His dad says, "Well, son, let me try to explain it this way. I'm the breadwinner of the family, so let's call me capitalism. Your mom, she's the administrator of the money, so we'll call her the government. We're here to take care of your needs, so we'll call you the people. The nanny will consider her the working class, and your baby brother." We'll call him the future. Now think about that and see if that makes sense. So the little boy goes off to bed thinking about what his dad has said. Later that night, he hears his baby brother crying. So he gets up to check on him. He finds that the baby has severely soiled his diaper. The little boy goes to his parents' room and finds his mother sound asleep. Not wanting to wake her, he goes to the nanny's room. Finding the door locked. He peeks in the keyhole and sees his father having sex with the nanny. He gives up and goes back to bed. The next morning, the little boy says to his father, "Dad, I think I understand the concept of politics now." The father says, "Good son, tell me in your own words what you think politics is all about." The little boy replies, "Well, while capitalism is screwing the working class, the government is sound asleep. The people are being ignored." And the future is in deep. <laughs> An engineer dies and goes to hell. Dissatisfied with the level of comfort, he starts designing and building improvements. After a while, hell has air conditioning, ice water, flushing toilets, and escalators. The engineer is really popular now. One day, God asks Satan, "So, how are things going down there?" Satan says, "Why things are going great? We've now got air conditioning, ice water, flushing toilets, and escalators. There's no telling what this engineer is going to come up with next. He's simply brilliant." God is horrified. What? You've got an engineer? That's clearly a mistake. He should never have gone down there. You know all engineers go to heaven. Send him up here immediately," Satan says. "No way! I really like having an engineer on the staff. I'm keeping him." God says, "Send him back up here, or I'll sue you." <laughs> yeah, right. Satan laughs. And just where are you going to get a lawyer? <laughs> a man sitting at a bar after work. Shares with the bartender the reason he is looking so stressed. I'm not sleeping well. I have nightmares about a monster under my bed, and I'm too embarrassed to seek help. A patron nearby overhears this and introduces himself. I overheard your story, and I am a psychiatrist. Maybe I can help. The first thing is you need to recognize these are only dreams. I should be able to help you in a few sessions. Here's my card. Give me a call. A few weeks pass, and the same two are once again at the bar after work. The psychiatrist says to the other guy, "Hi, how are your nightmares? I never heard from you, so I hope you're doing okay." The other guy says, "Things are great. The bartender helped me." The psychiatrist replied, "You need a trained professional to help you. What possibly could a bartender do that a psychiatrist couldn't?" The other guy says. He、uh, told me to saw the legs off my bed. <laughs> A policeman was interrogating three guys who were training to become detectives. To test their skills in recognizing a suspect, he shows them a picture for five seconds and then hides it. He then asks, "This is your suspect. How would you recognize him?" First guy answers, "That's easy. We'll catch him fast because he only has one eye." The policeman says, "Well, duh." That's because the picture I showed is his side profile. Slightly flustered by this ridiculous response, he flashes the picture for five seconds at the second guy and asks him, "This is your suspect. How would you recognize him?" The second guy smiles and says, "Ha! He'd be easy to catch because he only has one ear." The policeman angrily responds, "What's the matter with you two? Of course, only one eye and one ear are showing because it's a picture of his side profile." Is that the best answer you can come up with? Extremely frustrated at this point, he shows the picture to the third guy and, in a very testy voice, asks, "This is your suspect. How would you recognize him?" 
He quickly adds, Think hard before giving me a stupid answer. The third guy looks at the picture intently for a moment and says, The suspect wears contact lenses. The policeman is surprised and speechless because he really doesn't know himself if the suspect wears contacts or not. Well, that's an interesting answer. Wait here for a few minutes while I check his file and I'll get back to you on that. He leaves the room and goes to his office, checks the suspect's file on his computer, and comes back with a beaming smile on his face. Wow, I can't believe it, it's true! The suspect does in fact wear contact lenses. Good work, how were you able to make such an astute observation? That's easy, the third guy replied. He can't wear regular glasses because he only has one eye and one ear. <laughs> A woman's husband was cheating on her. So the woman and her husband got a divorce, and the woman went on with her life hating her ex-husband. One day, she found a beautiful lamp tossed in the streets. She picked it up and rubbed it a little bit. Suddenly, a genie popped out of the lamp. The genie said, I feel that you are divorced, so I will grant you three wishes. But know that anything you ask for, your ex-husband will get as well, only double. The woman thought about it, then replied, I want to be rich. So the woman became rich, and her ex-husband became twice as rich. For her second wish, the woman said, I want to be beautiful. So the woman became beautiful, and her ex-husband became twice as beautiful. Okay, the genie says. This is your last wish, so be careful what you wish for. The woman thinks really hard and finally comes to a decision. I want you to scare me half to death. <laughs> a blonde lady motorist was about two hours from San Diego when she was flagged down by a man whose truck had broken down. The man walked up to the car and asked, Are you going to San Diego? Sure, answered the blonde. Do you need a lift? Not for me. I'll be spending the next three hours fixing my truck. My problem is I've got two chimpanzees in the back that have to be taken to the San Diego Zoo. They're a bit stressed already, so I don't want to keep them on the road all day. Could you possibly take them to the zoo for me? I'll give you a hundred bucks for your trouble. I'd be happy to, said the blonde. So, the two chimpanzees were ushered into the back seat of the blonde's car and carefully strapped into their seats and off they went. Five hours later, the truck driver was driving through the heart of San Diego when suddenly he was horrified. There was the blonde walking down the street holding hands with the two chimps, much to the amusement of a big crowd. With a screech of his brakes, he pulled off the road and ran over to the blonde. What are you doing here? He demanded. I gave you a hundred bucks to take these chimpanzees to the zoo. Yeah, I know you did, said the blonde. But we had money left over, so now we're going to SeaWorld. <laughs> a man and his wife were spending the day at the zoo. She was wearing a loose-fitting pink dress, sleeveless with straps. The man was wearing his usual jeans and a t-shirt. As they walked through the ape exhibit, they passed in front of a large silverback gorilla. Noticing the wife, the gorilla went crazy. He jumped on the bars and holding on with one hand and two feet, he grunted and pounded his chest with his free hand. He was obviously excited at the pretty lady in the pink dress. The husband, noticing the excitement, thought this was funny. He suggested, Now maybe pucker your lips and wiggle your bottom. Let's see what he does. She played along and the gorilla got even more excited, making noises that would wake the dead. The husband then suggested that she let one of her straps fall to show a little more skin. She did, and the gorilla was about to tear the bars down. Now, show your thighs and sort of fan your dress at him, the man said. This drove the gorilla absolutely crazy, and he started doing flips. The husband smiled sweetly at his wife as he opened the cage door. Now, tell him you have a headache, 